friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It's quarter after five. Um, I just came downstairs. I had my alarm set for five and hit snooze a couple times, but I'm up and I'm out and I'm down. And uh, yeah, I gotta pack the kids' lunches, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm gonna have a coffee and yeah, figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. All right, guys, it's 5.30. I got their lunches packed. My son came downstairs, who God knows how long he's been up. He's come downstairs, like my older son, saying he was hungry. Jeez, he better not fall back to sleep and miss the bus is all I'm saying. But I think I'm going to get a coffee. I have to spin out here shortly and then come back um, and then get the kids up. But... Yeah, I should be able to squeeze a little coffee in uh, right now and then have a leisurely coffee later on after the kids finally go all to school and everything like that. So we'll see. It's not snowing out yet, though. I don't know if you watched my video yesterday. We're supposed to get snow today, and it's not snowing out right now. So no chance of school being canceled right now. And, yeah, we'll just uh, keep an eye on it. All right, friends. Well, the kids just went out to catch the bus. I got them all up and out the door. I gotta wake Maze up here in a little while. My teenager, if he's gone back to sleep. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there. The bush is kind of in the way. They're gone out. It's supposed to start snowing at some point today, but it hasn't started yet. They were kind of disappointed. They were hoping school would be canceled. So, oh well. Anyways, I'll be back. That's Evie over there. Doing his thing. He was dropped off here earlier. And I'll bring him uh, to his mama after because she's done work and stuff. So, anyways, I'll be back. Alright, before I wake Maze up, I'm going to do the kitchen roundup. Last night I didn't empty the dishwasher to load up the supper dishes. So, yeah, that's what I'm dealing with. And. The table mess and Evie's gonna help me so it's 729 we'll see how long it'll take me to get this done all right 749 I got the table cleared off and wiped the counter and stovetop cleared off the dishwashers going there's a pan in that cookie jar thing that I had flour in it that didn't fit in the dishwasher um, I didn't sweep the floors because it's some days it's almost impossible to sweep a floor with a little toddler around. So I'll do that after he goes home. Um, now I'm going to go get Maze up and my teenager up. And after I drop Maze off to school, oh, here isn't too bad. A few little toys. And some toys. And he's following me around every step I take. <laughs> I just cleaned up the paint mess that was here. The kids were painting yesterday. And Evie knocked over the paint jar, like the water jar. Oh, what a mess. And, yeah. Not too bad, but um, I'll do this after, after I come home and there's no kids around. So this will take, I'll do like a power hour because i got to do the bathroom too. Um, I'll do more of a deep clean today in the bathroom instead of the, just the regular tidy. But hairdos and showers from yesterday. Yeah, I gotta do something about this. Alright guys, well it is about 5 to 9. I'm just getting Daya. Evie fell asleep. I'm gonna bring those guys home. I stopped and picked up oil in a couple of those red jugs back there. She's gonna put in her oil tank. And yeah, I just got a text from the elementary school. They're going to dismiss school two hours early because of the storm that's coming. So instead of being dismissed at like quarter after two, they're getting dismissed at 12, 15, quarter after 12. So yeah, it's, uh, well, it's better to be safe than sorry, but I'm just, I'm curious to see how much snow we actually get and what it's going to be like, because there's not a lick of snow on the ground now. But we'll see, uh, we'll see. It might be all covered in a blanket, you know, by tomorrow morning. I mean, it won't stay because, you know, it is getting warmer and warmer. 
as time goes on, but you know, that's Nova Scotia weather for you. Well, it's 9.47 and I just got home. It's so nice to walk into a kitchen where it's mostly clean for the most part. <clears throat> I dropped Medea and Evie off and I just got a can of bubbly. I'm going to sit down and have that. And uh, yeah, I got a Tim Hortons coffee and drank it on the way home. So yeah, just going to rest my bones for a minute. Well, I'm still having my bubbly, but I just got off the phone with Amazon. I had called them last week because um, I don't know if you remember, I got three of the kids like Amazon fire tablets for Christmas and Mazaya's fell off her bed even though I had those kid protective covers and stuff on it and her screen is just black with rainbow lines on it and it was still under warranty but I called last week and they were out of stock and they offered me like the new updated one I would just have to pay the difference but I said no that's okay I'll still I'll wait for the other one to come back into stock because I have the protective case and I don't want to spend more money on getting another case and all that stuff. But anyways, I just called them to check on that because it's been like a week. They said they were going to send me out a label on April 6th, 6th and it's past that. But it all went smooth. They're sending me out one. It should be here in a couple days. I just need to send back the broken one um, with a free label. So... If I go out today, I'm just going to stick that in the mail. I'm just excited that it went as easy as possible because you guys know sometimes dealing with companies and dealing with returns and all that stuff can sometimes be a pain in the backside. But uh, thumbs up. Uh, that one went went well. So, yeah, the house is quiet. Um, my husband's still upstairs in bed. <laughs> I'm going to leave him and enjoy the silence. So, yeah, all right, I'll be back. Just wanted to fill, fill you in because... Something to make me smile. All right, I'm still having my bubbly. It's quarter after ten. I just got off the phone with Dad. Um, he called. He's just he's about to sit down with a cup of tea. He said, but um, apparently one of the letters I sent to Northern Ireland returned. It's Marie O from Northern Northern Ireland. So Marie, if you're watching, you can email me your address. I must have got it wrong. I noticed your postal code or. If it's the one I'm thinking of, because I remember it stuck out in my head, I guess Northern Ireland has a different type of postal postal code. Like, we usually have six digits and letters and stuff in our postal code. Yours had seven, I think. And maybe that's not right. I don't know. But, Marie, if you're watching, please, please know I did send you a card with some letters in it. But, um, yeah, if you see this, I will uh, resend it if I get your your legit address so just wanted to put that out there while I remembered and yeah okay I'll be back
right, it's 11.57. I just got done vacuuming those three rooms. Um, I'm about to have my green juice, and my husband's gone to get maize from school, which is good. I told him I'd cook these ribs if he took the membrane off for me, so he did. And I forgot to take out another package last night, because I know I have some in the freezer. So this will be just enough for supper tonight. There's not going to be any leftovers, I can guarantee that. But now I just need to season them up, wrap them in foil, and put them in the oven real quick. But I'm going to drink this first, and... Uh, to go to whatever spices I'm going to put on here because I don't have any official rubs but I think I have like Cajun seasoning or something like that we'll see all right I'm going to do one rack um, of the slap your mama Cajun seasoning it's spicy delicious I love it um, I'm out of that Tony Cheshire stuff I really want to get some more of that but I probably have to order it online but um, I'm gonna I found this up there smoky mesquite and um, some of the kids don't like it super spicy so I'm gonna try that on the other one might as well um, load it up and see how it turns out so I'm gonna get the pan out and get my gloves on and uh, yeah start doing this thing all right well I just opened that one because it had never even been open took the little thing off of it I'm gonna do this up quick I'm just going to put it on 350 and have it in the oven two, at least at least two hours, just so it uh, will get nice and tender. Oh, these have already been, yeah, well the membrane off and washed, so I think what I'm going to do is put the seasoning while it's on this, so it doesn't go all in those cracks so much. I'm going to have to curl them up a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to... Uh, touch my seasoning things with meaty hands. Ooh. So I'm just going to do one like this. Ooh. Smells good. That should turn out okay. And then I can make a little if I have any chicken and rib sauce, or I can always make it if they even wait that long for me to make that because they'll dig right into this, they'll want them right away. But it's going to be for supper. I'm going to put a little bit there on the side so I can get the side of the ribs too. You can't forget that. I know you guys have seen me making ribs lots of times. Yeah, ribs are keto friendly. It's nice and fatty meat. Um, actually, like pork and beef are, you know, higher in fat than chicken, so it's, it's better for you than if you're following the keto. That is better than eating lean meat. But to each their own. Oh, one of my friends on Facebook posted on my Ursula McFly Facebook asking. Um, it's a shepherd's pie. Oh, for goodness sakes, is it Clara? I'll have to look up after, but ask me if it was a keto recipe. I'll have to look at it again, but I am no expert at all, so I, I don't want to give advice. But for me, I know it had like carrots and peas and corn in it. I don't eat carrots, peas, and corn because um, there's carbs in those. Um, unless you have, you know, really, if you really count your carbs and measure and stuff. I don't really, so I just avoid that sort of thing. And also calls for flour. Don't eat flour. So I would just substitute the vegetables that are in that. The shepherd's pie had cauliflower crust instead of potato crust. Cauliflower is all good for you on keto and stuff. Um, but I would just put different vegetables in it myself. I'd put like perhaps broccoli chopped up super small or um, some spinach would be good kale. I'd probably um, saute it a little bit so it breaks down some because kale's kind of tough. Oh, there's a big piece of, big piece. But, yeah, I just watch out for that. And onions too. I love onions, but I only eat really minimal onions because there's lots of sugar in onions and it'll spike, spike insulin. But, again, I am no expert at all, so... <laughs> 
Me, I would just doctor it up how I felt more comfortable eating it. Um, it looked good though. I might actually try that. I've never made a keto shepherd's pie, but um, I love shepherd's pie. I haven't made a shepherd's pie in a long time. I should make one for the kids. So, no, I've seen um, it started snowing in Yarmouth, which is about an hour away from where, I, well, a little over an hour from where I live. So it's it's starting, it's starting. It hasn't started here yet, but get that on the sides there. This is so much easier with two hands. Let me put this back on. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'll have with this for them. I know I have. I think I have some canned peas maybe down in the basement. We'll figure something out to go along with this. I just had french fries yesterday, so I'm not going to have that. Get out of here, spice. I, uh, that's something that drives me crazy. When I see people making recipes online and they touch their spice bottles with their dirty hands, and they probably wash their spice bottles after, but it doesn't show that and it drives me crazy. I'm thinking, Oh, you just touched raw meat or whatever, and are you going to put that spice bottle back in your cupboard with that on your hands? I'm sure they don't, but I hate not knowing. <laughs> so, I'm curling these up on the ends a little bit. And I have that oven protector in there, so if it does happen to drip, yeah, that's just that. There's a piece of meat. Um, if it does happen to drip, it's not going to be burnt to the bottom of my oven. It'll be on that oven protector. So I'm just going to wrap this up tighter than a drum and, um, yeah, get it in the oven. The kids, it's 12 12.10, so the kids will be dismissed in five minutes, apparently. They'll be home probably around one o'clock or so. So at least this will be in the oven and starting to smell good. We'll probably want to tear into it, but I'm not going to let them. <laughs> so I'll be back. All right, there we go. So I'm going to put it in the oven. I have one load of laundry in the dryer, and I haven't even gone upstairs to see if there's any loose things up there. Oh, it is starting to snow. Just little teeny, tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny particles of snow. Can you see that? There's a robin right there on my lawn. Looking for worms. Do you guys see it right there? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's two robins. And then there's a little bird right there. You see them hopping around. Yeah, they should fill their bellies while they can. Oh, I see a bunch of birds up in my tree, little tiny ones. Yeah, love it. All right, I just came upstairs to get some dirty laundry. There's some towels and a few little straggle clothes, but that's what I do. I lay a dirty towel on the floor and throw any of the other dirty laundry in there and roll it up like a I'm running away sack and bring it downstairs. Just like that. Now I just need a pole to put it on and throw it over my shoulder. table off. I got the dishwasher going. There's a pot over there that has compost in it that needs to go out. Swept the floor. Um, I just need to put this vacuum away, but this is all done. Um, well, you've seen me do this, so you've seen me do all this. And I just wiped down the bathroom. I just have cleaner sitting in the toilet, but wiped the counter off and swept the floor. And those are wet towels from earlier. And yeah, so that's not too bad. The kids should be home soon. I'll put this vacuum away. But now I need to sit down and rest again. <laughs> I'm a big lazy bones after a while. I can only do stuff for about 10 minutes at a time, like increments and stuff, and then I got to rest. So, yeah. 
All right, guys, it's 1.23. I'm just going to do a quick grocery haul. My husband got home with Mays, and I just got a message from my teenager that missed the bus, so i got to take a trip to town. Mazaya got done reading her books, so she's done for today, but I'll show you quickly what he got. He got some ketchup and sour cream and onion storm chips. I asked him to pick up these Tostitos for girls' lunches. Uh, two things of sausage, because he's currently over there cutting up two cabbages, for you know it cabbage and sausage. He got two things of hamburger. One was $9.57. The other one was $8.44. He got some medium salsa and some mild salsa. Got some Cheerios, uh, apple cinnamon, and some Nesquik cereal. Some bananas. A whole bunch of yogurts that he likes to eat that were 50% off. And it still has like two weeks before they're expired. So these will be gone. He got himself some Cola Zevias. A jug of milk, some ranch dressing, and two cans of flakes of ham for kids' lunches. They like those kind of sandwiches, so that's what we got. Now we got to hit the road. All right, I made it to, to town, so um, I am stopping to the superstore on the way out. My husband wanted me to pick up some whipped cream, so I'm going to get some of that. All right, I'm home now. I just packed the kids' lunches for tomorrow. They're hoping school will be canceled, but I'll show you the cabbage and sausage. He had one purple cabbage and one regular cabbage. So it's a mixture. Oh, that doesn't have a knob. Well, it looks the same. So yeah, we're gonna have that. The ribs have one minute left, and we'll see. We I mean, should get off the counter. Goodness, look at. It's snowing a little harder now, but still uh, not too bad. We'll see. It's still saying we're supposed to get 15 to 20 centimeters, so we'll see. All right, I just took those out of the oven. We'll open it up and see. I forgot to put the timer on it initially, so I kind of guessed. So these have been in for about two hours or so. Ooh, smells good. This is hot. Let me get this off. Ooh, yummy, yummy in my tummy. Hip, 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 hooray. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, looks good. So, I'm just going to leave them covered for now. It's only, yeah, it's only 2.30, so I might stick these back in the oven. And just shut the oven off. It's still really hot. And just let it sit there for another hour or so as the oven cools down. These will stay warm. And yeah, we'll be good to go when it's time to get our grub on. I got the kids plates out I just use these little plates there's mazes and I have these little espresso cups with some ranch this isn't this is like a little miniature teacup kind of mug thing with ranch cucumbers and celery two or three ribs each and they're having the mesquite kind not the spicy kind so yeah and I'm gonna have some of the spicy ones you did sneak around me, yeah. They're all at my ankles wanting these ribs, so it is 10 after 4. So it's a little early, but the snow is still coming down. They're not great big flakes, they're those little flakes, but it's it's adding up. Oh, Misha's enjoying the ribs. She's eating it right down to the bone. Is it good, Misha? 
I guess that mesquite is a little spicy. I didn't realize that, so. <laughs> At least I got some ranch sauce they can dip it in if they need to. And lots of water. Yep. All right, everybody had their supper. It's 10 to 5 now. <laughs> um, I just switched the laundry that was in the washer into the dryer. And that's going. I took the ones that were in the dryer and put it in the laundry basket outside the dryer. I'll wait till this other load's done and I'll fold it all at the same time. But I have five towels to go hang up in the bathroom on those drying racks. And once I get that laundry folded, every stitch of dirty laundry in this house will be done. Okay, the towels are done. There's literally one rib left. Let's see who's the lucky one to get that. I gotta empty this dishwasher. I know I could have filled this with a bunch of other dishes, but I wanted to get these this pan and stuff washed. Um, and then I will load up the supper mess. I gotta put that cabbage. I had a little bowl of cabbage and sausage and four ribs. That's what I had for my supper, which is delicious. Now I need to wrap this stuff up and put it in the fridge so I can get these pans washed. I'm just loading up the dishwasher. There's a couple pans that won't fit in there. I'll probably wash them by hand or wait till after. But I just packed up that cabbage and sausage. So I got one big container here. And then I use these little ones that would be like an individual meal for me. Or for my husband if he wanted. He would usually eat more than me. But yeah, I'm just going to put those in the fridge. I'm not even bothered putting them in the freezer because we, we could eat this every day. Um, it's one of our favorites for sure. So I'm just going to put it in there. And wipe the stove top off. And get the dishwasher going. Misha and uh, Mays are outside running around like chicken with their heads cut off. Listen to them laughing. Where is he? Where are they? Oh, they're out there. But yeah, they're running around playing, so having a good time. All right, I just wiped the table off. That's just Misha's leftover plate. Wipe the counter off. There's a big pot of compost that needs to go out. The dishwasher's going. Those two pans are in the sink. And I just need to sweep the floor. But I'm going to wait till all of this is all done. I'll save that till later. But yeah, at least this mess is cleaned up. Those guys are still running around. Let's see if I can catch them. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, let me see. 6.30. 6.27. Usually I'd get my son to take out the compost, but I thought I'll take it out and show you guys the storm so far. It's starting to build up now. No signs of it slowing down at all. The ground's covered and the road's covered. And I got an armful of compost I need to drop into that green box, so I'll be right back. Well, I just came in from doing the compost and well, Misha's brought me to school. Mom goes to school now. I do. She's now teaching you, me some French words. Now you have to stay Guess six what hours this says. Listening, to, <laughs> guess what, listening to that child. Okay. Oh, let me see. She has the circled out, um, Dizu? Dizu. What is it? Wazoo. Oh, Wazoo. Okay. Okay. So we did all these ones. She has it there and I got to learn how to say it. And then I write it and underline where the sound comes from, and then she double checks it. So, who knows? I might be bilingual soon. Well, I'm in the upstairs bathroom, and I uh, just thought I'd show you from up on the top level, well, besides the attic. Yeah. I know that screen is in the way. But, yeah, there it is. It's not supposed to stop snowing until like 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, so there might not be school tomorrow. Alright guys, well it's 7.30. Um, I came upstairs to put a little bit of water in the tub. Not much, but just in case the power goes out, we can still use that water to flush toilets and stuff like that. I always do that when there's a, some sort of storm going on. Um, but I think I'm going to cut this video off now because I want to get it edited and uploaded then I can just relax the rest of the evening and get the kids to bed and enjoy the storm. So, yeah, it's been a pretty good day. At least I got downstairs straightened up. Didn't do much upstairs. I'm hiding in the bathroom still. And they're outside. 
outside the door. My husband just went for a walk up the road to check the mailbox and back just a few minutes away. He came back covered in snow. <laughs> but yeah, no, I got the, the ribs done, supper done. Um, and I'm so glad I got their lunches packed for tomorrow, whether they have school or not. It's still cold enough in our freezer that um, I just have their book bags hanging out on the hooks out there and with their lunchbox in it. And it's, it's cold. It's cold. So there is no school tomorrow. It'll still be good for the next day. So I'm not worried about it. Not at all. But yeah, I want to wish you all peace, love and happiness today and every single day. And please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really do. So, yeah. And just a reminder, Marie, if you're watching this, Marie, oh, I can't really, I didn't want to say her last name. From Northern Ireland, if you're watching, touch base. I'll keep my eye out for that email. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you're having a good evening. And is it stormy where you are? What's the weather like where you are? So, I'll just say have a good night or have a good morning and I'll see you tomorrow or after the storm. Bye. Boink.